this is Liquor and Wolves. Liquor and Wolves. Secrets and dope and music and reactions. Liquor and Wolves. I said Liquor and Wolves. Liquor and Wolves. Liquor and Secrets and dope and a German talking bullshit Liquor and Wolves fuck, 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 fuck. Welcome ladies and gentlemen And we're live Good evening ladies and gentlemen Boys and girls from all over the world How are we doing tonight? This is Liquor and Wolves I'm Rob and you guys know who you are You're the greatest for being here Thank you very much for taking the time to stop by Alright We're doing Ren today Um phenomenon right everybody that's watched one of my videos knows how much of a fan i am of his and um there is one track i'm sorry let me just double check something real quick right yeah um if there is one thing that everybody has been doing in terms of many many reactions to it have happened out there and i have always and we're talking about the song The Hunger, of course. You've seen the title of the video. You've seen the thumbnail. I haven't, by the way, because I'm doing it right now, and I will generate it from this, of course. But um, I have decided, I don't know how many weeks ago, because the Ren rabbit hole I'm in is one that's been in effect for a while now. Um, and I have at one point decided, because I know Black Pegasus did it, and he is it is part of the, th the triple feature he does when he brings friends on the show. Call, he calls it the Ren Roller Coaster. It will usually be high ren as the first exposure to the the guy, and then either one of the busking things or um, Jenny and Screech, usually busking, and then third part. And he always announces it and you know intros it. Okay, and now we're gonna see the rapper rapper. I have always thought I've seen the rapper rapper plenty of times already, as in Genesis, as in fucking the Fisher rap retake. So. I um, there's there's not even the shadow of a doubt that he is a fucking fucking rap spitter, talented like just adding to the fucking list of what he's fucking great at, right? Fucking guitar skill, fucking singing voice, fucking storytelling ability, fucking executing conceptualizing videography for his content. Just being generally a, just the most approachable, likable, and real bloke just as a person. Fucking appreciative of everything that that is happening around him. Always, while fucking carrying weight like a mofo, um, still taking the time out of his day to fucking be positive toward uh, uh, someone else. And yes, of course, fucking fast-spitting rapper also is on that list already. But no one that black pegasus does this and i consume his stuff a lot so shouts out and he knows that i am sort of orbiting his content and um i love it and every time i watch one of his rabbits uh, <laughs> bullshit ren roller coaster episodes i always click off before this last one when he does the hunger with or presenting it to someone and there was always the reason I want to at one point do this exclusively on the channel when I have a guest and it would be something where I get my own first reaction plus my guest's first reaction to it because I've done a couple where I am actually aware and know the stuff and I've done Harry Max where I am not aware of that but it's, there's never been a Ren-focused um, episode where guest XY and I have never seen the stuff. And I was always sort of putting it away for that. Now I have done Ren with my good friend, Mr. Question Mark, or AKA Ziggy Stargast, which is of course a play on words. In German, Gast is guest, so it's Ziggy Stargast. Doesn't sound as nice as Ziggy Stargast though, of course. But um, we did, um, I, I exposed him to High Ren. And it's sort of, this isn't putting any of my German speaking friends down, but it does take a lot to get a first time consumption of the boy Ren. His you know, his his individual dialect of of course UK accent period plus Welsh influences in it. So it's not your Webster dictionary high school English that we be, we've been taught in Germany. I can't example. But no it's it's even more 
more out of left field, if you will. It'll be easier to understand an American fast spit and Harry Mac than it will be for a German, I'm saying, than it will be a fucking, not Cockney, but just very UK, I don't care if you understand me or not. My native tongue ran in fucking fast mode. So <clears throat> learning that from the experience with um, Mr. Question Mark, I am kind of stepping away from the idea because I will. it will be super rare to have a native speaker as a guest here on the show, but there will be one and uh, I'm not revealing it because people are crashing at my place when the Harry Mack show happens here in my hometown of Hamburg, Germany and there will be native speakers and I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that um, they will not um, be aware of Ren and then I will show the dude to them. I am super excited about that. But this is sort of teasering something that I have planned. Now, what am I saying? I'm saying I've stepped away from the idea of let's do this together at one point with one of my guests, German friends, because I'm sure it will not be something that they are just audibly and language barrier wise able to take in. I'm not saying I will be. I have had my struggles, my share of fucking struggles with RAN content, but it is more likely that I will be getting or catching, let's say, 75% of it than it is that my group of friends that are potential guests on the show will. Which is why I am going to be doing it on my own right now. So, Ren, The Hunger, it has one million views and it's nine months old. I, of course, know. I have explained the entire pregame to it. I know it's going to be a hip-hop fucking spitter thing. That's all I know about it. And if BP gives it his seal of approval, I know it's going to be flames, right? And that's why we're doing it. It's only two and a half minutes long, but... Oh, Pickmast, hello. And fucking look at the... This isn't stage or like art department. This is a real graffiti wall of fame, I guess, right? Okay, what I'll do is, as always, I'll let it ring for a couple of seconds and adjust my audios, and then I will take you full screen. Let us roll. I'm fucking ready, man. Let's go. Spit, Rand, spit! What's that? Poison in my veins, lights a flame in my brain that maintains the pain that may change my frame of mind. Blind, I design rhymes, intertwined, double time, genuine Frankenstein. I made a monster. Conquer, easy scene, golden ticket. We seem to get seem to be good i'm sorry what in the fuck and i didn't really get to i have this attention deficit thing i can't be focusing on too many things at the same time when i check audio i listen for audio and not take in the words that are being spoken so we're going all the way back to the top and i'm hoping the sound levels will stay as they are because we seem to be good right now but shit this whole what's that the music production it starts with this it sounds like something is either being played backwards or it's really fucking knocking on objects, you know, blue man group kind of thing. It doesn't sound like an instrument. And then we get him in the super, let's call it weird. It's not, you know, easy on the ear flow. But fuck, I'm ready. Let us go. Poison in my veins, lights a flame in my brain that maintains the pain that may change my... Poison in my vein, that's a flame that maintains. So, and I took in the fact that he's doing this excessive blinking thing, which can be a side effect of drugs you're taking. I mean, medical pharmaceutical drugs, not street shit, or <laughs> I mean, and unless it's crocodile. Um, so that is something I saw, and he's talking about the pain, and is this turning in on my own medical condition a little bit again? I have to listen in again. Poison in my veins lights a flame in my brain that maintains the pain that... The poison in my veins lights a flame in my brain. This could be interpreted in two ways. Either it's the fact that I have this poison in my vein, meaning my illness, my disease, lights a flame in my brain as in pain. It causes pain and there's nothing I can do about it. The other way would be the pills in my veins, the poison, the pharmaceutical poison I am having to, uh, uh, you know, consume and take, lights a flame in my brain as in idea flame, like the fucking light bulb. I doubt it's that one, though. 
like so I'm being I am the ability of my spitting this fire from my brain comes from the poison in my veins. I doubt that though. Poison in my veins lights a flame in my brain that maintains the pain that may change my frame of mind. Blind at design rhymes intertwined double time genuine frank. Blind as the as the fuck what? May change my frame of mind. Blind at design rhymes intertwined double. Blind, I design rhymes intertwined double time. This is not really sentences and statements being constructed and verbalized it's really picking stuff from everywhere also th what adds to that is his kind of like ticks right it's not a stream of conscious he is grabbing words from everywhere and putting them one after the other and each individual word makes us have to puzzle together the image he's painting with them right he's not saying it this is what is happening he says stuff fire flames pain and we puzzle together what he's saying Am I right? Tames the pain that may change my frame of mind. Blind at design rhymes, intertwined, double time, genuine Frankenstein. I genuine Frankenstein, right? So he is, he is the creation of mad scientists, right? Frankenstein. I'm reaching and guessing what he means is the product you see in front of you is the result of in brackets, misdiagnosed and mistreated design of medical doctors. I'm a freak, really, who is the pro the, the, the sum of the part that I am the sum of the individual elements that Dr. So and so, Dr. So and so, and Dr. So and so put in me. All of them wrong, by the way. We now know. So he's actually saying, I'm a Frankenstein. I'm, I'm not your normal human system. I am parts thrown, thrown and slapped together by mad scientists, I'm thinking. Frame of mind, blind at design rhymes, intertwined, double time, genuine Frankenstein. I made a monster. Conquer, music scene, golden ticket, one. He says, I made a monster. Genuine Frankenstein. So he constructed this himself. I made a monster, being myself, and the beats, which were how it's growing and developing. Awesome. I'm genuine Frankenstein. I made a monster. Conquer, music scene, golden ticket, Wonka, conjure, lyrics in my. B Conquer, music scene, golden ticket, Wonka. That's what I mean when he's just giving you bits and pieces and puzzle what they're saying together yourself. And at that fucking speed and pace, it's almost impossible. But of course, Willy Wonka, the golden ticket. I conquer the music scene. Golden ticket, Willy Wonka, is it like someone's given me one? No, you have worked for it and we've not been just handed a golden ticket. Hey, here's your front of the line pass into the fucking success in music. I doubt that. That's probably not what it means. All right, let's let's see what else. I made a monster. Conquer, music scene, golden ticket, Wonka, conjure. Lyrics in my belly, I got thunder. Younger, everybody. Conjure. So conquer, music scene, conjure. Lyrics in my belly, I think. Okay. Golden ticket, Wonka, conjure. Lyrics in my belly, I got thunder. Younger, everybody wishes they were younger. The older I'm getting, the more I feel the hunger. About to like a well to wait, help to scout to need out the cell to alpha beta delta. I help you into the fall. Okay, I, we are looking and searching for lyrics. I am going to have to. I'm sorry, but this is really, really hard. Not only is it the pronunciation and the how does he say the words, but it's also the pace at which he's spitting them that is really hard for me to follow how why can we not go bigger because we get all this here we go right this is the start of it poison in my veins right got lights of flame in my brain that maintains the pain that may change my frame of mind blind i design rhymes intertwined double time genuine frankenstein i made a monster conquer music scene golden ticket one call conjure lyrics in my belly i got thunder younger everybody wishes they were younger facts um the older i'm getting the more i feel the hunger so he's not like everyone else who just wishes they could go back and be at their prime and youth again. 
he's saying the the older and the more <laughs> healthy I get, I'm thinking I am getting, the more I'm hungry because I've missed out for the for so fucking long. My fucking what should be should have been my prime teenage early twins years were fucked. I'm not wishing myself back into that. I am aiming and hungry for what's in front of me. Right. Um, okay. Better like a belter, like a welter. Welterweight. Okay, that's a weight class in boxing, right? And Or martial arts or whatever. Belter like a welterweight. Helter skelter. Need a uncle seltzer. This is really just slapped together elter things. Helter skelter, the Beatles, and fucking Manson family. Alka Seltzer, a fucking stomach acid and b- b- hangover shit medicine. Alpha, beta, delta. I help you into the fallout shelter. Fallout shelter, like after a nuclear um, fucking incident, head into the fallout shelter because you don't want to expose yourself to the fucking radioactive shit. Melt a mind or two with my rhymes. You might find you never felt a feeling like this feeling be believing i'm a demon i'm a devil so it's a lot of elter thing else felt stuff not jumping at me meaning wise i'm just gonna read up front a little bit to not be completely fucked when it happens live fuck the game completed every level i'm a vessel for spirits to channel out my lyrics i'm a devil i'm a vessel for spirits to channel out of my lyrics Okay. Possession things and evil leaks out of me. I raise my fist, the anti capitalistic pissed I revel in society collapsing. Fantastic, now pump the treble. I raise my fist, the anti capitalistic pissed I revel in society collapsing. What are you saying? raise my fist um this is of course an issue in money game one and two acknowledging and describing to us the how the world works in this evil and you know situational design of the man and the money game that we're all kind of well oiled grinding gears in I raise my fist, the anti-capitalistic, because I've always asked myself, why is he not giving us his idea of how to get out of it? And I've, like one option could be revolt, stand up against it. So he says here, I raise my fist, the anti-capitalistic, and this is, you know, f- actual uprise imagery, society collapsing. So I would enjoy fucking everything collapsing, for once, finally, because it's going to be cleansing. Yes, there's going to be victims of that happening, but at least we get to fucking reset, right? So, I yes, I enjoy it. Fantastic. Pump, pump the treble back over to I am going to dance on your fucking graves or on the shit state that everything is going to be in when it collapses. And I'm going to be there partying as it happens, right? TikTok off the top of the tip of my tongue. I'm tapping telepathy this is everything on tease terrify them with a tr- terrible telekinesis tantrum yes i torture the enemy slowing the flow and then growing the flow and this is all on o's and i swallow the flow like a top of own fuck okay great i love it too i'm a beast with the flow i'm a feast on the flow then i'm ripping it up and i'm taking it low this is i have a rap game big dick and I can fucking write and spit fast. Probably it sounds, it is written like it is probably going to be verbalized very fast. Kitty with a black heart. This is himself again in a car park by Primark. This is all a arc art jamming Django Reinhardt shit. I do that too. I jam Django Reinhardt. Oh, by the way, let's have some fucking banana juice. Cheers, guys. Um, Django Reinhardt, a. I'm not sure if that word is canceled. Also, gypsy musician with a crippled hand. He only had three fingers on one hand. And he plays the guitar. And Ren, of course, knows this. And he tells us, I jam Django Reinhardt. But this reaction is not about me reading. I have gotten far enough. And once we get to the Django bar, I'm going to go back into reading. Let's hear it from you, Ren, not from me reading it. 
We're gonna have to start. Crimes intertwined, double time, genuine Frankenstein. I made a monster. Conca, music scene, golden ticket, Wonka, conja. Lyrics in my belly, I got thunder. Younger, everybody wishes they were younger. The older I'm getting, the more I feel the hunger. About to like a well to wait, how to scout to need alpha delta, alpha beta delta. I help you into the fall. I shout them out to mind the TV. These rhymes are my fine genetic for felt. I'm feeling like this feeling me, believing I'm a demon, I'm a devil. Fuck the game, complete at every level, I'm a vessel. The spirits of Chandler on my liver time. Delivering sort of intermission part of the song here and delivering this in almost sing rap, right? It's still spitting and it's still in a fucking beat flow fashion. But how the words leave his mouth, they are being sung almost, right? And yes, I'm thinking more and more. It is Ren going this isn't going to be just this is not what out of the format of i am telling you a story and i'm being a bard with it and i am doing all these little waving hellos to all kinds of things like fucking shakespeare and my pl uh, being the uh, minstrel at the king's court and telling us what's going on in the lands this is me talking my shit and just ex or displaying what I can do. And it's not so much about please get the depth of what I'm saying here. The Alcazelso Helto Sculpture. It's all it's displaying I found all these rhymes and I can execute and deliver <coughs> this sort of gibberish not all of this is gibberish, please don't get me wrong. But that I think is only there to show that he can and not to convey a message. In other parts of the song he's trying that though. Or is doing that, I'm thinking. But it's not core focus. Please um, appreciate how I am a great storyteller and message conveyor. This is him saying, I'm a fucking spitter. And I can find absurdist of rhymes that you cannot. And my cock's larger than yours. Which is totally fine. It's part of the game, right? It's part of the culture. It should be there. And only because I have started getting into this on the most sophisticated end of his catalog doesn't mean that he's not allowed to be that what he is here. Just a fucking big cock. Fuck all y'all. Step up. Rapper. You see what I'm saying? Let's go. Fuck the game, complete at every level, I'm a vessel The spirits of Chandler on my lyrics, I'm a rebel I raise my fist to anti-capitalistic pissed I revel In society collapsing, fantastic, now pump the treble and this is again a message. This is not just I talk my shit, but I'm not saying anything. This is like I've tried to explain somehow tying in with his whole stand on the money game and how the man is imposing it all onto us. And he's really doing this for his own higher purpose. And we're all following blindly. And no, not me. I raise my fist anti-capitalistic. And once the whole shit is burned to the ground, I am going to pump the treble and celebrate the fact that it's our chance finally to reset and get rid of all this shit right that's content message and not just i can i can fucking fire off fast and rhyming this is me talking my shit i'm fast on the flow i can i i i fucking eat the flow like toblerone that's not a message no depth right i'm not wanting it to be deeper i'm saying this isn't trying to achieve it I, this is displaying fuck look at what i can do if i want to i'm having fun with this whole thing and my cock's big. <laughs> I'm thinking anyway. When I flow and I grow and I flow and I swallow the flow like a tobler on my feast and I flow on my beast with the flow and I'm switching it up and I'm taking it low. Keep it with the black heart and the car part by primal jamming Django wine heart living with a bro star refine rats with fine art and Django I stop. I have to read up on that. We just now passed the Django Reinhardt bar in a fucking um, part of the song where we're not being deep again, but where we are fucking shooting rapid fire and displaying the ability of doing that right so where is the Django bar here jamming Django Reinhardt living like a rock star refine rap to a fine art Vincent van Gogh fine art I start making my mark like Frankie Sinatra mm -hmm. call me uh, King call me Arthur fucking Excalibur I am I have a big cock right 
And my style is homegrown, like growing Kelly weed. Snoop Dogg. Eh? Don't need no personal trainer. I got trainers on my feet. I've always acknowledged and told y'all that I love his just up, like physical appearance, style, fashion. He commits some of the utmost fashion crimes in general consensus, but he can rock it because he is just in this whole, his entirety of the things he's wearing are making the statement and turning around the fact that you can really not put your pant legs in your white socks, but with those Air Maxes and the fucking pumped up fucking leather coat, you can. You can rock that. Anyone else in the damn street I see with that, I call you out. No, I'm not that guy, but you see what I'm saying. Yes, you don't need a personal trainer. You got trainers on your feet. And you do train. We can see that in the damn... Oh. Mm. Fisher, where he is, you know, giving us this POV of somebody sucking his dick. There's some abs in it. And, okay. I know, you know I got the soul in my bowl when I eat. You know I'm staying grounded when I grind up my beef, grind it, ground. If you got a problem, my brother, I might just put on some rubber gloves and just choke you to larynx, raptures, and blood just bubbles up and the bubbles just double and you struggle, but luck is up. Because I'm subtle at covering the trouble, covering up the trouble. All let's find rhymes, internal rhymes, external rhymes. Let's build a rhyming house around that entirety of what I just said. This is just this playing fucking ability. Cock big. Cover up the crime scene. 1990s, that's my scene. My teen years were spent rolling the tigrine. Yeah, same here. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. Mine was more white widow, but still. Obscene fiend in a pair of baggy jeans. Putting baggy with the green. Roll of fatty dopamine starts flowing. My cerebrum grown. My cerebrum grown. Growing. Putting baggy with the green. Putting baggy. Is that uh, inside out rolling a joint? Uh, you know, ro normal? Rolling method, roll it up, put the front end of it beneath the um, tobacco and whatever else is in there, and then roll it upward. Inside out rolling, have the paper itself be upside down and not roll the entirety of the paper into like w into the joint like I explained in version one, but only go to and burn the rest off after you have had, uh, after the sticky parts hit, the sticky part hits the other end so it's just one roll as opposed to let's have like two layers of paper around the entirety of the thing and it burns nicer but faster is this fucking a seminar but is that a becky we just call it an envy it's inverted it's an envy <coughs> it doesn't matter the pendulum is slowing oh the pendulum this is nine months old or was it already a thought and a thing that he no, that he has found to describe something he wants us to know. Of course, I ran the pendulum. <coughs> I'm swinging and I'm swaying, but I don't know where I'm going. Mind ruined, Jesse Owens. Mind running, sorry, Jesse Owens. Hallelujah, Leonard Cohen. Again, finding rhyming stuff, but uh, able to put it to use rhyming stuff that has some depth to it, but not, you know, deep, deep, deep. Of course, Jesse Owens, fucking greatest sports scene of all time, happened here in my country in 1933, and Jesse Owens, like, there's this bit by Bill Burr, and watch it, it's called <laughs> um, um, Black Athletes and Hitler, and it's the core of what, why it's funny, right, he describes this, imagine being Adolf Hitler, and your whole angle is, we are going to dominate this shit, and then here comes Jesse Owens, he just fucking flies past every white dude in the fucking race is on the fucking uh, the, the thing where you know place two place three place one he's on it he's fucking dark as the night and imagine the ride home with hitler and even angrier than usual adolf hitler he was like and you are sitting next to him and you're like it's the most beautiful day isn't it make hitler leave in like the third quarter right putting down his fucking big ass index up finger <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, Jesse Owens. Okay. Hallelujah. Leonard Cohen. Hallelujah. No. Old ass man. I'm not even sure if he's still alive. But if he is, he's like 80s, 90s somewhere. 
sort of no not comparable really but same day and age and at least folky in a way johnny cash always dressed nicely in a fucking suit and him and a guitar songwriting ability undisputed great leonard cohen all these seeds that i'm soon slowly grown like trees mm -hmm. i grow then i preach scrap that i teach teach over beats to all those that seek teach on these streets streets can be bleak but bleak is the place where i rose to my feet again not deep 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 and don't get me wrong i'm not wanting it to be i am describing what or what i'm observing right there's a little bit of it in here turning the light onto me bleak is really where i grew and it, it accidentally or coincidentally rhymes nicely here with the whole eek 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 scheme but I am very keen to hear this being executed. Let's roll. Let's start again at the fucking uh, Django Reinhardt bit. I'm switching it up and I'm taking it low. Keep it with a black heart in the car park by Primark. Jamming Django Reinhardt, living with a brawl star. Refine rats, we'll find our Vincent Van Gogh. I start making my mark like Frankie Sinatra. King call me Arlos. And my style is homegrown like growing Cali weed. Don't need no personal trainer, I got trainers on my feet You know I got the soul in my bowl when I eat You know I'm staying grounded when I grind up my beef But if you got a problem, my brother I might just put on some rubber gloves and just choke it Till I rub just some blood that just bubbles up And the bubbles just double up and you struggle But luck is up cause I'm subtle at covering up the trouble Cop Shit, there has not been a horn yet Why? Why, Rob? This is so fucking hard to do Write it and then execute it this way. That is, I think, the hardest part, of course. It doesn't need to be this eloquent fucking uh, upper echelon of no one's ever told me a story that like that. It is f just fucking top-notch at this other discipline of the game. Can you fucking spit? Regardless, I can give you a fucking phone book. Can you spit it? Right? And what's with the green and red? Um, we call them Bengalos, the smoke bombs. Does it have a meaning or is it just a nice visual addition to the music video? I'm sure it might. It could mean something. The red and the green. Red light, green light. Stop, go. Not sure. But let's let us go. And the bubbles just double up and you struggle. But luck is up because I'm subtle at covering up the trouble. Cover up the crime scene. 1990, that's my scene. My team. Like every fucking paragraph that I read in the lyrics when we went over there gets its own little musical execution to go with it, right? There's not one major motive that goes throughout the entire song. He goes from here to here to here to here. It's really... It's kind of like a brain that it's like ADHD phenomenon. Everything just doo -doo 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 -doo, like lightning just flashes through your brains and your thoughts. And you're never actually able to think one thought all the way to the end because the next one's already there. And this is a little bit what I'm getting from how the music and the beats, plural, are executed. It's like I can't focus. I can't just stay on one thing. And it makes it excellent, of course. I'm not putting it down. I'm observing. Years were spent rolling the tigreen obscene fiend in a pair of baggy jeans. This beatbox in the back? Yes. Seen my teen years were spent rolling the tigreen obscene fiend in a pair of baggy jeans. Putting backy with the green roll of fatty dopamine starts flowing. My cerebellum glowing. The pendulum is slowing. I'm swinging and I'm swaying, but I don't know where I'm going. My running Jesse Owens, hallelujah, Leonard Cohen, all the seeds that I've been. Just now said it, I don't know where I'm going. But I don't know where I'm going, mind Running Jesse Owens, hallelujah, Leonard Cohen All the seeds that I've been sowing Slowly growing like trees I grow, then I preach Scrap that I teach Teach over beats To all those that seek Teach on these streets Streets can be bleak But bleak with the place But I rose to my feet Right before this hard fucking bass came back in He re he vis he revisited the weird fucking sounds Of the very start of this The dong it sounds like beating on some fucking metal pipes or some something weird. Fuck. It is all over the place. My mind is fucking running, Jesse Owens, right? It is the execution of what he's saying here in the music also. Scrap that I teach. Teach over beats. To all those that seek. 
teach on these streets. Streets can be bleak, but bleak was the place but I rose to my feet. And is this now stacking all the individual parts of the music? We still have the, the metal pipes I'm referencing. We get, uh, in addition, layer two, we get um, the beatbox and we get this this electronic fucking drum thing. Could be. The hunger that has been spoken about, how it is growing with age for him. And I can relate. I can understand. No, not relate. I can understand. Because turning back, turning your, like, <laughs> missing the good old days, his old days weren't good, right? He is looking forward to the good new days a little bit, right? And he's hungry for it. And he's showing us, I got the fucking skill. I'm ready. What are you going to say to me? My cock is large. <laughs> is that my biggest outtake of it? I have a big fucking cock. It could be. It could be. It's him talking his shit and showing and proving and just keep putting out in the open how good he is at this shit without having to be and forcing himself to be shackled in this I need to be like the deepest bard ever. No, he can just be the dopest spitter ever. Right? And producer probably also. If Was this produced by him? Stream the hunger here. Join our community here. Follow me on Instagram. Music video by Sam and Ren. It's not telling us who the artist, yes, but it is not licenses. Let's go. Third party licenses. Okay. It's not 100% clear. It could be that he has actually produced and made this all over the place ADHD beats <laughs> production here. Holy crap, Ren. Yes. And how thankful am I over my decision of not exposing one of my good German friends, no shade, but they would have gone fucking, they were, would have been lost, lost. And only taking it in for the music production would of course be fun, but would also leave you a little bit like, huh? And that's why you called me and had me come over here and listen and watch this with you? Fuck you, Rob. It could be the outcome of it. So I'm super glad I did it this way. How about y'all? What do y'all think of this? I am now super late on it because everybody and their mom has has seen it and um, has probably heard a thousand opinions on it because I've never watched any of the reactions to it either, of course, right? Like I said, BP, I always click out after um, song two. Blur, by the way. Anyway, um, what's your thoughts on this? Am I anywhere close to the truth? Has there been proof of the complete opposite uh am i just not getting it again <laughs> um yeah let's 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 interact and and, and you know converse and uh, if you want to do me an even bigger favor please leave a like leave said comment or um sub to the channel and i'd love to see you guys on the next one